He entered the mud and vowed to corrupt everything within the world of the DLC into his own personal world of chaos and anarchy. But Lucifer didn't seem to have much control over this world as well. Astute observation, Halle. He tried to use his full power, but he couldn't. It was all thanks to a fourth character, whom had unexpectedly appeared, to limit how much influence we were able to exert within this world. A fourth? The Concrete Giant? Correct. Masakado, the one who represents the neutral world. The true ending. He sensed the first animosity and acted accordingly. He entered this mod as well. His presence demanded, or demands the system to verify him, which at that point was stretching the system's limitations. The space within this system is finite. Think us as astronauts within a spaceship. Think of us as astronauts, forced to share a limited amount of space and resources. The system only has enough energy and room for two deities, and now there are four. Thus, each of us were forced to rely on part of our own energy reserves just to manifest within this world. Which limited your powers. Precisely. The system wasn't prepared for a full-scale battle between two final boss characters. Should Merkaba and Lucifer be allowed to battle each other at full power, the whole system would collapse. Thus a limiter is necessary. It limited Yusufa's influence on this world, and limited how much Merkaba and I could do as well. Due to the limitations, we needed time to accumulate enough energy in order to aid you in your quest. Of course, Lucifer is absolutely livid at this turn of events, and thus, in his desperation, he gave us an ultimatum. He demanded that he is to be allowed to perform his original role from our origin game here, which has resulted in the opportunity for morally incorrect choices to surface for the player to choose. We are not to interfere with the player's choices, nor are we allowed to stop the course of events from happening, so long as it doesn't interfere with the soul's salvation process. Should we not abide to these terms, he will go berserk and break this mod script code, deleting everything within it. He even threatened the mod creator, our player, that he would do it in every iteration and copy of the mod file, which will cause the mod to be unplayable and unaccessible, or be inaccessible. Our player tried to reason with him. He tried to negotiate with a promise to play through Chaos Route. Lucifer refused, stating that there is no point, since the player has already known how it ends, and he doesn't need pity from another godlike being. Since the player already knows how it ends, you don't. This phrasing is just wrong. And thus, we have no choice but to allow this mod to turn from a simple rescue mission mod into a morality based choice based mod. All this effort to protect the mod and the souls within the game that was DDLC from a psychopathic demon lord with a burning, unfulfilled desire. Damn, this is a lot. But to sum up, this for bad, beat him up to win? It's an oversimplification of things, but yes. Something still doesn't add up. Yes? Why can't Merkaba sense you? He is corrupted. Corrupted? Due to Lucifer's unprecedented entry into the mod, Merkaba was reminded of his original role from the origi origin game. And regrettably, he had gone mad as a result. Wait, Merkaba's crazy? He's a bit extreme, yes, but he doesn't seem to be that bad, right? Do you know his plan for you after dubbing you the Messiah? He plans to delete your existence after Lucifer has been defeated. He what? Your existence is connected to the player. He recognizes the player as a chaotic being. No offense to you, player beyond the screen. Merkaba, in his current state, does not measure humanity individually, but as a whole. And your world is indeed full of chaos. He tolerates it for he needs you to help him defeat Lucifer. After you defeat Lucifer, you will be nothing more than a liability. He doesn't want the player to corrupt the, the world through you, and thus the only way for his perfect world to exist is to erase your existence. That's just unfair! You are correct. Lucifer knew this appearance would drive Merkaba mad, or er, his appearance, and thus he and I made a deal. He made a bet that the player would never find the third path within this mod. He knows that Merkaba would in his madness derail the original plan and coerce the player into choosing the law path using morally correct choices. And Lucifer himself will provide the morally incorrect choices, which will lead to his path, the Chaos Path. His plan involves the player choosing the morally correct options, only to find the ending unsatisfying. And thus the player would choose the bad choices, just to see if it's a better option. And his goal, his role, would finally be fulfilled. I guess we did things slightly out of order. So there's no winning scenario here. Not unless the player manages to make choices that would result in opening the third path. Which is what's happening right now. Wait, really? That's what this is all about? By remaining neutral and not choosing either side, you made Lucifer lose his bet. He is now bounded by his own deal. It would be just just plain bounds, don't need the idea. And finally, I am allowed to have this truthful conversation with you. 
he cannot back out of the deal or go berserk at this point, which allows both me and Eileen to finally proceed with Clan T.E. True end. We shall aid you and your dear family in stopping both Merkaba and Lucifer from ruining the salvation process of all of your souls. Wow! Does this mean we have to fight Merkaba too? Not without help. We will help you out too! Eileen! I take a look around and Eileen's nowhere to be found. Where are you? I can hear you, but... Well, do you know where you are right now? I'm in space. It looks like space, but in actuality, you're in the core. The core? This book it's mentioned symbolizes run by simple or system files. I know this will sound very weird, but you're inside me. How? Eileen is the mascot, the base of the system. Think of it as a form that you're comfortable with, and Avatar used to interact with you. The core, which is the red play visual novel engine, is my true body. Which means you're currently inside me. That's kind of lewd. Don't worry, you're nowhere near my non-existent intimate parts. It does tickle a little when you're walking around. <laughs> Wait, does that mean the moment I woke up and became sentient, I was in the core and you all along? There was only so much information you could bear at that point in time. Apologies for withholding this information from you. You would go insane if he told you that. But we're getting off track. You're here to meet a new friend. Come on up, Mr. Masagato. A small figure walks towards me from a distance. Hi. Yeehaw! That's, uh, isn't that the snowman thing we saw last time? Jack Frost? Is that its name? How do you know its name, player? Hi-ho, told you we'll meet again, ho! Hi-ho, Daisy, long time no see ho! It has been a while. Are you well, my old friend? I'm doing good, ho! Everything is nice, ho! You can drop the act. Oh, forgive me, the adorable yet knowledgeable hint giving very rolling and amusing one. Deactivating Atlas mascot disguise. Greetings, child. I am Masakado, protector and guardian of humanity. Whoa. I mean, uh, hi. It's the concrete giant from last time. His presence towers over me like a bunch of towers. <laughs> I mean, he's got a bunch of broken buildings and towers for both his shoulders and arms. And his huge, red, lava-like heart slash core is radiating a gentle heat, like a warm fire in a hearth. His deep voice, while gentle, booms from above like it's coming from a loudspeaker as big as the sky. You can talk, huh? Indeed I can. Forgive me for not greeting you properly during our first meeting. I was in deep slumber at that time. I do hope you weren't alarmed by my snoring. I understand how loud I can be. Uh, that's okay. No hard buildings. I mean, feelings. Fear me not. My immense size and unique composition is due to my backstory. This colossal form is required to protect a whole city of people from being obliterated by nuclear weapons. Okay, now that's cool. I should be feeling scared or freaked out, but for some reason I feel calm. Something about this giant makes me feel safe? Secure? He looks like a kaiju, but he radiates the same energy as those Super Sentai mechas slash megazords designed to fight giant evil monsters. Your praise warms my heart. Now, with introductions out of the way, let us brief you on your final task. Defeat Makaba and Lucifer, and create an ideal world for humanity to thrive without the intervention of the interlopers. I must warn you that your current prowess aren't enough to beat them. As a holy knight, you have conceptual advantage over Lucifer, but against Makaba you are completely harmless. Ah, that's not helpful. Indeed. Merkaba bestowed upon you the title of Messiah, correct? That title is to ensure that you do not deviate from his plans. A teacher must teach, a doctor must save, a messiah must die for the greater good. Which is why you must be stripped off that title. It would be stripped of that title, and a new title will be provided, should you accept it. The title of Savior. Is that different from being the Messiah? I thought both of them meant, or mean the same thing. The Messiah is a martyr designed to sacrifice oneself to purge all that is evil in the perspective of law. The Savior, however, is bound by neither law nor chaos, and this title has conceptual advantage against the agents of both law and chaos. Consider the following. A robber is trying to rob you, and you have the choice to either have him persecuted and erased by the law, or be the bigger monster and kill him yourself for disturbing your peace. These two options symbolize law and chaos. I mean, yeah, singular symbolize, not plural. However, the savior will be able to take a third option. What third option? 
The savior can talk to the robber, try to understand him, and try his best to help him with his plight so he doesn't have to rob again. The robber doesn't need to be punished for he is no longer evil, and he can live a better life thanks to the savior's intervention. That sounds very idealistic. That is the path of the savior, one who symbolizes hope and ideals. The golden ending will be achieved, achieved, the path where everyone can be happy. Such is the title of Savior, thus your mission in this world to break free from the imperfect narrative. The fourth wall breaks, and a meticulous task is provided for both you and the player to search and fight for the perfect ending. This grand mission, a Savior's meta. Roll credits? Where are the credits? Not until you beat the game, boy. Bro, that was the perfect time to roll the credits! Dramatic title drops aside. The title Savior, unlike Messiah, is not bestowed upon without consent. Your acceptance of this role is by choice, and your decision is a key factor. So I ask of you, do you accept the title? Yes, I accept it. Wonderful. I didn't get to say no. Connection successful. Oh, he said it. I art thou, thou art I. My name is Moscato, guardian of humanity. For the sake of humanity's future, rise and fight for what's right. Swoosh! Whoa! I can feel a great power entering me. I feel full of courage, determination. I feel so pumped. I feel like I can punch Lucifer in the face. I, I feel... Er, I feel sick. Be careful! Your body needs to take some time to adjust to his presence. Adjust to his presence. He's super big and his file sizes with them and so from Merkaba and even days from using their full power. To put his presence within your mind and soul and act quickly is like having you participate in a burger eating contest where you have to eat 50 pound burger in 3 minutes. Oh, no more talk about food, please. Take deep breaths, relax, let your mind slowly digest his power. Don't need to see. <sighs> slowly, but surely, I'm starting to feel less queasy. Okay, so Masakado is inside of me. Yes, and not in a fluid way. Apologies, but this is a necessity. Now you can summon me like you would a stand. Huh, let me try. Damn, you're creepy. It is the only form I can manifest, so bear with it, boy. Congratulations on becoming the savior. Keep in mind that your guardian angel is no more, for you have rejected the path of law. However, you shall obtain the power of balance and truth in return. Guardian Angel Ultimate Ability replaced by Fists of Duality and a Wheel of Dharma. Prey Function replaced by Concentrate Function. Increase self into ally attack and defense until negated. Also, here's a gun and a sword. <laughs> Just, what? Your light element based powers are no more. Thus, you need new weapons to defend yourself. Wait, wait, wait. Am I going to stop those who do harm by doing harm? I thought I'm going to talk to them with truths and wisdom and whatever you just said about the ideals of Savior. Uh, they can no longer be reasoned with, and you must defend yourself from their onslaught. If you're not comfortable with using a firearm, then just ask Zero to charge up your ultimate abilities. Do not worry, these weapons won't kill them. Unnecessary space. They will merely be subdued. The Savior shall try his best to do the minimum amount of harm to bring the result where everyone is happy. And that involves stopping someone from doing more harm. And they will be defeated, not the leading. After the defeat, I shall absorb them into myself and bring them back to our origin world when this is over. Okay, then. Speaking of which, it's time for you to reunite with her. Come into the light. There is no need to be shy. I hear footsteps behind me. I turn around. Hi, Monica. Hey, Monica. Hey, Callie. Nice to see you again. Yeah, this is awkward. I don't know what to say. I'm pretty sure she's cool now, but what should I say to her at this point? I don't know. You need to settle your differences now, for you need to work together to defeat Lucifer and Makala. Oh, uh, um, I... It's all right. <laughs> you don't need to say anything. I think you do. No, I do. I'm sorry for everything. I'm not expecting forgiveness. I'm just... It's hard to believe in something after being in such a hopeless state for so long, isn't it? You had lost all hope and faith, and I'm sorry for not understanding how you feel when I was trying to save you. Regardless, I, I still hurt you while under this delusion of hopelessness. If I didn't impede you, if I hadn't taken Lucifer's deal, if I believed you, we could have all fight all a lot of things.
things. Boy, howdy. And for that, I'm truly sorry. Oh my goodness, look at these options. My god. Uh, I guess I'll drop it here. Eh. Let's start by being horrible. I still think you're a bitch. Hey! No, oh, I understand, the player. I have no excuse for all the things I've done. That's why I wish to make amends for it. Hey, whatever happened, happened. I'm not going to hold you accountable. The others, too. They've already forgiven you. That's our missing a period. That's why we decided to save you. Thank you, Hallie. It seems your kindness is not the product of the players, but your own. Also, player, I hope that's not how you treat your crush or significant other in real life. I might have to reconsider your confession, even if your insult is completely justified. Huh. So you were just trying to confuse her that time when you confessed to her, huh? Kinda a dick move, though. Or, though. Was that in this save file? I didn't think it was. Once again... Thank you. Oh no, I guess I guess it had to be, because we were going lawful and we didn't. So we cool? <laughs> of course. Hold on. We wanna like we gotta see what the other ones are. It's okay. Blair. I agree. Everything's okay now. You have nothing to apologize for anymore, Monica. Whatever happened, happened. I'm not going to hold you accountable. The others too, they are or they've already forgiven you, and you're just missing here too. This is why you don't copy pay test te text, man. That's why we decided to save you. See, now you've got- you've multiplied your problems. Is it still different? <laughs> of course. I believe that's where we stopped last time. So, yeah. Alright, now let's actually forgive her. Even though I feel like she kind of doesn't deserve this one. Player! I forgive you too. Whatever happened, happened. I'm not going to hold you accountable. <laughs> yeah, they already forgave I see you gotta put it in three places. Thank you. But I don't know how I can help you to fight Lucifer and Rakaba. Without my admin privileges, I'm just a normal girl without any powers. Don't you worry about that. Eh? What is this? This power, it's like... I have granted you true admin authority to the Renpai system. Before this, you were an admin of the game, the DLC, and you were bound by the rules in that game. But now you have access to the system itself, which gives you all the reality bending powers without the negatives. But, but is it really okay for me to have this? You need it. Eventually you will face him, and you are the only one with the experience to handle whatever he can dish out to you. I... You have nothing to fear. Or rather, there's no room for fear, for failure will cause everything to be for naught. Focus on the task at hand. You can get mentally prepared by defeating the two thorned adversaries. God, I can't talk. Monica shivers and takes a deep breath. I... I understand. I I'll do my best. You can do this, Monica. I hold out my hand. Thanks. Let's get our freedom back together, Hallie and Blair. She shakes my hand. She looks at me in the eyes. Or she looks at me in the eyes. Don't need the at. She's looking at you in the eyes too, player. She's looking at and she's looking at you in the eyes. Don't need the ats. Ally Monica registered. Ability resets all debuffs inflicted by the opponent, plus restore HP. Well, click, click, click. Summoning of Ally Monica will be unaffected by the silence debuff. Huh, so this is my power. Sounds very useful. It is indeed useful. In fact, it is one of your main methods of defense against your future adversaries. I must say, it is very heartwarming to see you both couldn't reconcile. At times like this, it's best to progress than regress. I agree. And now to business. So what's the plan? I assume this is the business we're going to talk about. Uh, you would assume correctly. The first step is defeating Lucifer. Lucifer is the cause of this mod's change, thus he needs to be dealt with first. His domain is hazardous to the human body, and thus I shall utilize my magic to provide you a shield so you can survive in that place without burning to ashes. However, I must warn you that you will still be harmed by the fires of hell, so do be careful. Lucifer himself is a very dangerous adversary in his own right, and his immense power coupled with his curses will be fatal. I suppose I'm in charge of negating his curses. Correct. You can see his curses as code, and you can edit them from true into false. Understood. The next step is to engage combat with Merkaba. Keep in mind that you must only engage him when he has transported all of you here at the core. You cannot hope to defeat him should you remain within the Garden of Eden, as that is his domain. Without Lucifer's chaos magic executing as a counter, the Garden will continuously heal him, making victory an impossibility. <sighs> However, once he arrives at the core, his connection with the Garden will be severed, and you can use that as an opportunity to defeat him as quickly as possible. It will be as quickly as possible. After Merkaba's defeat, we will arrive at the final step that would complete the New World's creation, where you will face. I suppose it's best if we leave it at that. 
Can't have your determination waver at such a perilous time. 